Brother Ed, you can hear me just a second. Lord, we want to thank you for this evening, and we want to thank you, Father, for those who are gathered here. We thank you for uh, those who serve uh, our community and our, in our city. Pray, Lord, that you would give them the wisdom that they need. I thank you so much, dear Father, for their service. We pray, Lord, that you continue to bless our community. I pray you continue to uh, help it to be safe. I pray and thank you so much for our law enforcement and for our firefighters. And I thank you, Father, for so many people who uh, give so much uh, to us. God bless this meeting. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 <clears throat> Mr. Hancock, please, please. 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 to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Let's go ahead and dive on into the work session. Uh, there is an item on the agenda, Animal Control Vehicle. I imagine this is the police committee. Mr. McDowell, do you have a... Mr. Mayor, Council, what we're looking at is uh, you know, we've discussed we've uh, been made a vehicle made available to us through the Air Force. Um, it was a diesel vehicle. I think that uh, Mr. McMahon uh, visited with uh, Kenny about it. Um, we are we're going to hold off on this right now. We're still in the process of uh, getting the final details and the final information on that vehicle. Um, it, it would come to us uh, uh, free through the through the Air Force through their surplus. The issue is there's some concerns about uh, whether it's a conversion from a gasoline to a diesel and uh, uh, those kinds of things. So we want to make sure that uh, we're not buying or getting something, even though it's free, that's going to cost us a lot of money to maintain and uh, do repairs on and stuff. So we're going to hold off on that right now as soon as we get that information back and we'll bring that back to the council. Okay. Uh, question, Chief. Uh, yes. Was there a deadline when we have to say we can accept this? Not, not that I'm aware of. Not that I'm aware of right now. So we're, uh, we're working on it right now. We're trying to get the, uh, we made, we made a call to the guy that has the information. Um, and we, we'll wait for the call back and we'll, we'll continue to call him on a daily basis. So I, I talked to Rick yesterday and he was getting the uh, VIN number, but that must not have him in VIN number on the, on the truck. We're, we're, like I say, we're trying to get... If they engine, it won't have him in all the details on the video. If you can get the VIN number, we might be able to tell what engine it's got. It's just those, those particular vans, if it's a 6.5 diesel, were very problematic. They had a lot of issues, especially well, that's, you know, that's 94. Thing we're going by is what yeah, 94, 96 were really bad. So, you know, the vehicle's free, but we turn around and get this vehicle, and then we have to have a lot of repairs on it. We're not gaining anything, right. you know. Well, would it be the wish of the council, since it's a free vehicle, to um, go ahead and prove it pending approval of the um, approval of the vehicle, pending the research is positive? Or that way, we're not waiting for two to three weeks later to, to accept this. I, I don't have a problem getting the vehicle if it's free. Just with understanding, I mean, everybody needs to know that it, you know. Well, the problem we may not have trouble with it, but. You know, Pending it's not the uh, engine that you're talking about. Yeah. If you think we're going to have trouble with it, we don't need to put up. We don't yeah. need to talk. Well, would there be any stipulations on it if we accept it uh, as to whether we could sell it or move it? You know, sometimes you get those um, used vehicles from. We have to keep, have to keep it. You have to keep it for a certain a specified period of time, Before and then after sell. that time expires, then you, you know. Do what you, you know, know what that is? Yeah. I don't know what it is on this particular vehicle. No. Is this something we put a more to people with this one? No. You can't do that. Okay. <clears throat> I think the point though is uh, if the council votes, you know, for discretionary approval to this, depending on the research they come back with, at that point, if it's good, they can proceed. Otherwise, you're not going to have another council meeting. And, and I, would, I would make that motion if we stipulate that we rely on your expertise from uh, automotive point of view. Well, 
a lot of you to know what your mod is, what what injection pump or what fuel system it has. If it's got the electronic fuel system, I say just leave it alone. If it's mechanical, we're good to go. So. Oh, All right, we have a motion to accept it pending approval. All right. Uh, any more discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed? The motion passes. I would ask that um, someone <coughs> will contact the council in regards to an answer, whether we accept it or decline it. Right. So we know, please. Uh, what else do we have please, committee? No, your lives and meetings. Do you have anything else? Want to discuss all we're in the work session? Yeah, the um, moving of the uh, dispatch and police department all in the uh, end of the building there where it is now. But to move it all in there. Uh, we uh, put together some figures. Uh, total, approximately total was forty little forty six thousand dollars. And uh, the chief, we have some in the reserve fund. He said he would take out his reserve fund to pay for the uh, home system, which will drop the cost of the uh, uh, what we've got to do down to uh, thirty-eight thousand. Uh, plus, we're going to save some on the building, and uh, that's that's a high-end figure on the building. It's eight thousand dollars, but we were just we were in a hurry to get some numbers, and that's what we got. In there. So, uh, with that said, uh, I make a motion that we uh, we we put this off for a, length, a good length of time. <coughs> I uh, make a motion that we move the uh, police department here in City Hall. It's uh, be a little tight. They can make do with what they, what they have. But that's the only motion. Well, we won't, with the exchanger, we won't be able to prove it tonight. That's a big two weeks. It's a big count. It's a big count. And Larry, this is, this is to, to How's the police department until the building out there opens up? Yeah. Our reason is because it's not budgeted out. We need to wait two weeks to the next council. Do we really need to relocate 911? We're out of the county right now. If we're going to relocate this batch, yes. And the council has has, has approved and to move our dispatch back here to the police department. So we, need, we have to do that. No. And we've already on the relocation of the 911, seventy five hundred dollars. That's already started. So oh, okay. we've already spent that money. Okay. Good. Anything else? Anything else for the police committee? <laughs> Uh, I make a motion that we bid out all the services such as lawn care services, cleaning services, trash pickup <coughs> for all city buildings, the CS building, all the <coughs> there's we have a bunch of people mowing the yards, we have a bunch of people cleaning, and I make a motion we just bid it all out and we go with the lowest price. Second. I'll, I'll go into one bidder. No, no, sir. It's, a little bit. I mean, it's, the cleaning service would be one service, lawn care would be another. I mean, there'd be one person doing cleaning, one person doing yes, correct. Sir. Yes, mowing. How long will these bids be good for? Just like a year or two years? Maybe annually? We got a second for us. We got a second. Uh, we got a second um, did we get a second on that? I don't know. Yes. yes. I, I okay. Okay. Right. Sorry. I didn't oh, no, I just wanted to. That's fine. Oh, I just made a note. How long will these bids going to be good for? Is it going to be on a contract for a year, two years? Something we need to decide when we put it out so I don't know how long they're on the committee. 
I believe that's a decision needs to be made this evening. Biannually? Whatever. I mean, I'll, I'll do whatever council decides to do it. Two years, two years, fine. I'll second two years. It doesn't hurt to lock them in, though, at least a two-year bid, you know, mm -hmm. get your price in there. Right? Even three years, not bad. So is that part of the motion? Yes. Two years. Two year contract. Any more discussion? Um, City clerk office, would you all put those uh, this up together, and I'll, I'll review it prior to uh, announcing do we want to stick strictly? Do we want to place an ad in the paper? I would imagine that's what you all want to do. Put an ad in the paper. We have to, don't we? Yes. But I want to also. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I want to ask do we want to give preference to uh, Chamber of Commerce members? I like that idea. So there will be penalized or not a member of Chamber of Commerce or not to be. I would say you know, taken seriously, no, I don't say taken seriously, but there's a if there's two prices that's within a hundred dollars of each other. One's a member of the chamber, one's not, or, or say ten dollars of each other. Be something we can review with the, the bid. It's one of the ways I pick my businesses I deal with. I don't see why we want to do anything different. I mean, it's just something to throw out there. I'm not just 100% sure I agree with that. I mean, that's, you know, if someone from out of town says, hey, you know, we can do it cheaper and they're quite a bit cheaper, we're going to penalize them just because they're not a member of chain. Which means they're I'm not sure supporting our community. That's going to be wild. Let's say that if they're in, in a member of the chamber, then they're supporting <coughs> our community. That's what it means to me. I believe as of right now, out of all the city buildings, there's only one person or one company that's not within the city. I'm not for sure about, you know, in the chamber, but there's only one out of town person that's currently doing any kind of work. I, I would agree more within the city than I would in the chamber. But there are some people that are doing that, not like that lawn care stuff, that are small business people that, uh, you know, really just struggle to get by, let alone probably never even think about being a member of the chamber. Maybe they should, but still, that's... Uh... And that company was kind of picked up whenever we bought the ACS bill. You may run into uh, like these living service type uh, nobody here in town. Yeah. So I'm like, so this list is out there. I, I, where I got that from is uh, my former company. Mm -hmm. when we work for utilities, uh, Paragold, for instance. They required us to be a part of their chamber. Although we had no presence there, they were, it was a requirement or you don't get a job. Pretty flatly. But uh, let's, just, let's just go out for the bench without that. And, if it gets to be a same price bid, we'll, we'll determine how we want to choose that person. Okay. Fair enough. <coughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Any other questions? All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed? That motion passes. Uh, anything else? What a mess. That's all I have. Okay. Um, furniture, thank you, Phil. Being moved. The furniture has been moved from the ACS building into the Justice Center, and uh, I think we owe our three departments and the people that just came out of all the things. We did a quick job, got it cleared out, and got it out of the contractor's way. Appreciate what you guys did that came in and served above and beyond. It is for temporary purpose only, short term uh, storage, because they're getting ready to start renovating or, or <coughs> construction at the Justice Center. So we will need to make a decision as to where we're going to put it or what we're going to do with the items that we've got in storage. I thought we were just planning on selling it. That was what the discussion was at the meeting. Mm -hmm. yeah. yes. Did we change our no, no, I mean, that's what, I make a motion, we take all the furniture and put it up for sale and <coughs> consolidate it. Because if we put it in storage for three years and pay storage rent for three years, it's not going to be worth what it would be worth now. So I make a motion, we try to sell it. Second. There's a motion in a second, someone. Discussion on that? Just make one point on that. Uh, 
used furniture and equipment, you usually wind up about 10 cents on the dollar of value. Selling it off is fine for like a store, but I hate to sit here in three years from now and move into the building. And all of a sudden, we got a long list of furniture presented to the council to turn around and start buying furniture. It won't be 10 cents on the dollar. If we full price. if we decide to use what we currently have, though, we're going to have to contract that out to have that reinstalled because that is a that type of stuff is ridiculous. Yes. That is ridiculous to try to put together. They do it that way to where they have to, you have to have your contractor come back in. So if we're going to save it, we're going to have to realize we're going to have to spend some money just to reinstall it. We probably can get it. They don't furnish it anymore. We can probably get an installation book put off the internet. That's what most companies are doing now. Instead of printing them up and putting them in the box, and with the instructions, you go on the internet and print it out for yourself. My, my suggestion would be, if we want to sell it, let's see what it would bring. Not just say today, tonight, we're going to sell it, but let's see what we can get out of it. It's a reasonable number, okay, but if we think we're giving it away, you know, I think we ought to reassess our position on it. So do you want it, would you like to change that to accept bids on it, but the right to review? We've got most okay. of them have, we, have we evaluated it in terms of Good, fair, poor, I mean, it's actual condition. <clears throat> well, we took it down, it was pretty good. <laughs> now, we do have one thing I would like, or do we still have conference tables? That type of stuff, is there's, that? There's a, there was a large conference table there. Okay. And that, that's in it's our... It's not there anymore. Two, two, two office desks. We did So it'll go back in that building. Is it being used now, though? It's stored till they renovate, and then we're moving it back into that room. Oh, okay. All so that we, furniture that we kept is going back in that building. So that so furniture will be available then. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You've got all the furniture that you are going to need out of that. Yes, sir. How much did you get? Just a rough guess, percentage-wise. Not much. It? No. How much? No. It was five cabinets, four cubicles, the conference table, and two desks. And then some trash cans. Well, I've got one other point on this. I mean, we've already done some of this, but if we've got other departments or departments in our city that have a need, I really think we should put this furniture to use. Again, I hate to dispose of it, then we come back here and we want to buy furniture. Well, they all been, it's been to that. I know yeah. some of it's been, it's happened, but I think we ought to utilize it for the maximum potential before we sell it off. They were all notified of yeah. take what they want right now. We're going to get very, very little used office furniture. That's right. I'm just thinking if we spend say seven thousand dollars for storage yeah. you know is it really worth it well just by comparison these council right chairs were bought i believe last year nothing now that's temporary they do you know what these chairs cost no two three hundred dollars two fifty three hundred dollars like a couple hundred bucks so would you be interested in amending your yes okay and I'll second the amendment you're making the motion to seek bids to seek bids and if we can get any decent amount of money for the furniture decent amount. not giving it away I, I mean, which we'll decide that next meeting. Well, yeah, I, mean, I mean, I don't want to say five thousand dollars. Or I mean, when it's you just reserve the right to refuse all bids. We're getting pricey. Oh. Just seek bids and see what we can sell it for. And can we leave it at the justice center until then? It's like three weeks off. Can we get the price within two weeks or three weeks? Next council meeting. We can try. <laughs> see what we can get about that. I'm just saying we can't let it at the justice. I think it'll be okay. I'll talk to the sheriff. I'll give the sheriff a call tomorrow. And, and
and make sure that's okay. But we do have a motion on the floor and it was seconded. Any further discussion? And the motion on the floor is to uh, get pricing on the furniture, used furniture from the ACS building. Yes. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed? Motion passes. Anything else, Billy? That's all I have on the building. Okay, uh, please, uh, street. Anything for street? No. How about fire? We do, but it's coming up in later. Okay. Students. All right, then. Um, oh, would you care to give us an update on the. Yes, today the software company dialed into our computers through the internet and they have started downloading information to start getting the software ready. So, and, uh, Mike will be here this Friday to bring the new computer systems that will be in the city office. office. So it's the ball is starting to roll. So hopefully within the next few weeks the financial parts will be turn out to be really good. So we have started downloading information. Move on to uh, approval of the minutes from <coughs> September 3rd, 2013. We have a motion. Second. And a second. Changes, additions, or subtractions. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed. Motion passes. At this time, it's public participation. Anyone here tonight wish to speak to the council? All right, we'll move on. We have uh, department reports. And uh, street park, I guess, what, the street park was supposed to have a report? Oh, the response <laughs> paper report. Yeah. Randy. He's, Randy's gone looking at, uh, has a couple of cities he's checking out the street, the relationship between the sidewalks and the streets. So when we start looking at this, uh, when we work on the uh, west end of town on 84, we have a little bit better idea of the way we want to go. But basically, I told him uh, when he asked about what direction we want to head, I said, get us the best idea and present it to us. If we want to know what would be appropriate, he's checking that out right now. Did the street, the third street, just to update everyone, uh, is there any status report on the third street? Well, let's move on to. Old business. <coughs> well, I may have been discussed. Building committee recommendation for service providers. Item B, Three River <coughs> Community College Signs. <coughs> so, as you all recall, this uh, is Matthews presented uh, some information for um, Three River Signs. I think three of them to be located at various points around the city. And uh, tonight we need to decide what we're going to do there. Does anyone remember that or need, need an update? What was that? Was like $600? Six hundred dollars. Matthew, would you care to come up and kind of give us a refresher, please? There were, it was to be $2,000 total. It would be you all a thousand, us a thousand. And there were three signs. So. <coughs> Three hundred thirty dollars. Six hundred sixty total. Three hundred thirty-three. You all three hundred thirty-five. And there would be the major intersections to show the direction where the building would be. That's a three-year contract, right? Ten-year. Ten-year. Okay. And they put them up. They maintain them. I think y'all asked for this. So if something goes wrong with it, they come back in and uh, replace it. You know, it's kind of neat when you, you go to the little pass up there at Malden and they got a nice sign there that says directing to the school and so on. Or, well, it's great know. for your economic development. Yeah. To show that, you know, I think Southeast has one somewhere. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So does y'all talk to the Southeast? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Well, we need to uh, make a decision. We need to make a motion to, you know, there wants to be a motion. I make a second. motion that we do that. Second. second. We have a motion and a second to uh, accept agreement with Three Rivers and MoDOT to put up three signs throughout the various points in the city. Discussion. I have. I mean, we didn't do it for SEMO. I don't want to look like, you know, there's anything. I think it's a great idea for you all to put up a sign, but with, I don't feel like I have as good a grasp on the city finances as maybe I should, and I think we've been kind of going back and forth on the money. We've had a lot of expenses, and I'm just, right now, not feeling like we need to obligate money, even though it is a relatively small amount. And we're, you know, going back and forth over office furniture, and then we're going to be able to buy office furniture and telephones, and I just don't know if it's something we should do. I have that uh, very similar concern, and we have another college in town. I don't want to get into nothing against you all at all, but I don't want to get into that. You did that for them, now you're going to do it for us. I really don't think fiscally we need to be involved in that, just for the fact that it's it becomes a big it's like you're starting something here that will eventually come back to haunt. That's what I concern. My concern. Any more discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed? No. 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 Take it through a consensus. Three. I have a hand vote of aye votes, please. Okay, motion fails. Well, thank you for presenting that to me. Okay, uh, I'm the authorization for the mayor signed the MoDOT grant agreement for AWAS. This is uh, we've had a past couple council meetings discussions regarding this, and uh, this is the ordinance that will make it legal for me to sign this uh, agreement that we've discussed. Is there a motion to accept this? Well, here's, let me read the ordinance. In order to authorize the mayor to execute a state block grant agreement between the city of Kenneth and the Missouri Highway Transportation Commission providing for AWOS and ground communications outlet at the Kenneth and Municipal Airport. Is there a motion to accept this ordinance? Motion. Motion. Second. Second. Discussion. All in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed? All right. Second reading. In order to authorize the mayor to execute a state block grant agreement between the city of Kenneth and the Missouri Highway and Transportation Commission, providing a providing AWAS and ground communication valid for the city of Kenneth Municipal Airport. Motion? Motion. Motion. Second. Motion and second. Roll call vote. Yes. 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 All right. Oh, let's see. Yes. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'll the the uh, tablet quotes for the city council. <coughs> Okay. Yeah. She was, uh, was advising me that she called up local businesses that she thought would have uh, access to this. And you see the response on the front page. This is nothing we were going to vote on tonight, but this was information that council requested. So if you all want to continue this, we can uh, continue this discussion. We can uh, put place it on the agenda next meeting. If you still choose. I'd like to see us pursue this if we can. I think in the long run, it will complete the city money on paper and ink. 
I still think it's important to tie it into the monitor so these people that are sitting out here can see what we're talking about. And I, I think that's a, is this the correct direction. I've, did a little, I've done a little bit more research on, on the Apple TV and things like that and how we can use the monitor and all that. And I,